Welcome to our lecture online. In this example, we're going to solve the exact same problems we did in the previous video, except we're going to use it using calculus. We know that the length of a hanging cable is equal to the integral from A to B of the square root of 1 plus the function that describes the equation, the derivative of that function, quantity squared. And since we were given the, the equation, we can then take the derivative of that equation, that would be 200 times the hyperbolic sine of x over 2 times 1 over 200, which is the derivative of x over 200. This will cancel out this. So here is the derivative of the original function. So when we plug that into our equation, it now comes to just solving this integral right here. Now we have 1 plus the hyperbolic sine, and if we remember, we know that the hyperbolic cosine squared of x minus the hyperbolic sine squared of x is equal to 1. So when we move this over to the other side, we now have the hyperbolic cosine of x is equal to 1 plus the hyperbolic sine, which can go in here. And also, instead of integrating from minus 50 to 50, we can go from 0 to 50 and simply double the integral because it looks exactly the same. It's symmetric on both sides. So L is equal to 2 times the integral from 0 to 50. And instead of this, we have the square root of the hyperbolic cosine, which simply gives us the hyperbolic cosine uh, to the first power, because we have the radical there that takes care of the square, of x over and let's see here, do we have x over 50? No, we don't want x over 50, we want x over 200. We got the wrong number here, so this will be x over 200. All right, so next, uh, let's see, we still need a dx. I should put a dx everywhere, because we can't integrate without the dx. But notice here, we don't want just the dx, we want Hmm, the differential of this, which is 1 over 200 times dx, so we have to multiply that times 1 over 200. So multiply this times 1 over 200, and of course when we do that, we have to multiply this times 200, so I need a little bit more space here. And so we can say L is equal to, so divide by 200, and we have to multiply times 200 to compensate for that. Okay, so now we're ready to integrate. The hyperbolic cosine, the integral of that is the hyperbolic sine. So this becomes equal to 400 times the hyperbolic sine of x over 200 evaluated from 0 to 50. Well, when we plug in the lower limit, the hyperbolic sine of 0, that would be 0. So we only need to worry about the hyperbolic sine of the higher number. And let's see here with a calculator. We have 50 divided by 100, which is 0.25. Take the hyperbolic sine of that and multiply it times 400. And notice we get the same result as we got in the previous video, about 101 feet, which gives us the length of the cable. So you can see you get the same result. Once you know the equation that describes the hyperbolic function, or that describes the curve of your cable, you can actually use the calculus method to solve for the very same thing the length of the cable, and that's how it's done.